Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to start by saying that, as a rule here at the Republic Media Network, we do sting operations. Do we do carry out sting operations? And as all of you know, some of our sting operations have been legendary. They've exposed everyone. We spare nobody. We get exclusive information. We don't take tapes that are given to us without our internal verification, but we do carry out sting operations on our own because sometimes it is important to record what we get to know. If we know that something corrupt, something terrible, something evil, something bad for society, something that is illegal, something that is breaking the rules cannot be proven through any other route except through a sting operation, then we carry out sting operations and we will carry out sting operations on politicians, on corporate figures, on anyone, on personalities, on people in the news and people who are hiding things from you. We will carry out sting operations if we feel it is absolutely necessary. Therefore, I want to begin as a caveat tonight because we are going to reveal a major sting operation today that the Republic Media Network believes that sting operations are necessary and people shouldn't go try complaining about them in courts because even the courts of the country should begin to respect, and I'm sure they do, the honorable courts respect the independence of the media and should know that sting operations will be carried out to expose people in power who abuse their office at the cost of the citizen who steal from you. Ladies and gentlemen, the sting operation as a journalistic tool for the Republic Media Network is not a common practice. In fact, it should not be for any media group, but it is used as sometimes an editorial last resort. When we believe that unless we bring proof on tape, people will not accept it or take it at face value. And if people don't take it at face value, then public opinion is not built. If public opinion is not built, then the corrupt will get away. And viewers, therefore, I am guilty, if you want to call it that, of having conducted multiple sting operations in the course and organized the conduct of several sting operations in the court course of my over two decades career uh, as a journalist and in my decade and a half as an editor. And why am I telling you all this today? Because I believe that the sting operation that we are going to share with you today is that of India's biggest and dirtiest political scam. In case you haven't heard of it, it is technically being called the Mahadev scam. There is a betting scam, a betting app called Mahadev, using which thousands of crores of rupees have been funneled out. The money has been taken from ordinary Indians who have been using this app. This is a whole corrupt ring which was operating out of Chhattisgarh, out of Raipur and various other parts of Chhattisgarh. And it has come into the public domain because the person who was behind this whole app has made so much money that he went to Dubai and he spent what we thought was 200 crores, but which we now know through the sting operation, is up to 900 crores in organizing his own wedding. Imagine, viewers, how much money this man has made if he spends 900 crores on his own wedding and all the top Bollywood personalities go to Dubai and dance and celebrate with him and all of them have been paid. Many of them allegedly in cash. They are facing questioning and interrogation. I believe if caught red-handed, they should have been arrested by now. In fact, I think the authorities are still going very slow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in the Republic sting operation, which we have carried out today, the uncle of the main accused in this scam reveals everything. And in his sting operation, and we have also had to, and I must say, had to carry out a sting operation on a senior police officer. Now, why does Republic carry out sting operations on police officers? Well, as I began by saying, we will sting anyone if necessary. We have carried out a sting operation on a police officer. We have carried out a sting operation on the scamster's uncle. We have carried out sting operations on two or three other people who are part of this scam. And we have carried out this sting operation because Republic works in the public interest and we will hesitate at nothing and exposing everyone if necessary. Ladies and gentlemen, the sting operation basically ends up revealing that everybody from top to bottom in the public and political space, the government space, police officers, politicians in Chhattisgarh were behind this massive embezzlement of money. All the money which went from Chhattisgarh and other parts of the country straight down to Dubai where the person 
the main accused is enjoying life spending 900 crores in his wedding this is the biggest daylight robbery in the history of this country and only republic has the courage to carry out the sting operations i would like to begin by saying that it is surprising and both shocking to me that the rest of the media in this country people who go on youtube to read written scripts don't have the guts and the courage to talk about it i would request the lutians media to realize how exposed they are today that this major major scam is being covered up by them and their silence is in my view complicity ladies and gentlemen i bring to you today india's biggest political scam the mahadev betting scam it's not about chatisgarh alone it's about the country and everybody in the country is talking about it 